Okay, Ron, tell us what we're gonna do, Coop. We're gonna we're gonna show you me and my cameraman Terry are gonna show you around um, the dangers of the, when you're in the forest. We're gonna te tell you how to tell apart poison plants from different plants. Look at this. Right here is poison wood. Yeah, show and that. Hold that steady. Right here is poison wood. We're gonna show you poison wood around here. Here's some more. Yeah, and there's also prickers everywhere. We're gonna teach you about prickers. And then if you get this, we're gonna teach you how to treat it. Yeah. See, it's all over my arms. You can see it. Yeah, the best way probably. And it's on my legs. You can see it. It's nasty stuff, huh, Coop? Yeah. Let's go find. See if we can find some, huh? Yeah. I think if we find some, we can really help a lot of people out. I know. That's, uh, if you don't have really any medication or anything. See, here's some palm trees. Here's some bigger trees. This yeah. property used to be really cool. We're making a frisbee golf course out of it, and that's how we got this poison wood. We're tearing through here without knowing anything about it. There's berries. You gotta watch out. You get don't eat berries. Yeah, that is Brazilian that. pepper, and that's bad too. You don't want to touch that stuff. The stuff with the red, little red berries. We believe this is a Brazilian pepper tree, and it's bad news. Here's some more. Bad news. Now, some people get really bad allergic reactions to this also, but this is another tree, not a mumbo gumbo or anything like that, but this has plants that are happy plants, and the plants' leaves come up happily, okay? And then these, even these leaves look happy and stuff, but look it, we pan over to this bush right here. And this bush, the leaves don't really look that happy, but they hang out at you. And they got black dots on them, and they're heart-shaped, sort of. But not hanging happy. And this here is the deadly poison wood bush or tree. And what happened in the olden days when the white man came here and they would fight with the Indians and natives and whatever, the Indians would catch them, they would tie them to these bushes or a tree, and they would be dead within three days. The best way to, if you don't have any like medicine or anything, just put aloe on it. And if you have it all over, like my friend Terry did, you, he went to a doctor. The best you could go to a doctor. And got a prednisone shot. Yeah, you know you can get shots. And pills, and, and it's still you. bugging me. Four, three days after the doctor, it's still, but it's better now. It's yeah, going you, away. The best thing to do is stay away from yeah. it. because It itches like crazy. Yeah, and they say not to cut them, but we're going to torture these things like they tortured us. When we eradicate these from our beautiful Frisbee golf course, what we're going to do is slowly torture these things to death because these are very mean-spirited plants and we don't like you, poison wood, do we? No. What do you say to poison wood? We don't like them. Yeah, we don't like them at all, do we? No. I want to show you another thing that's way down here that I stepped in once and it hurt and I don't know if it has anything in it, but it made my foot itch. This is Munchkinville, one holler. This is where we are, right next to Magic Ranch. Follow me and there's a plant down here that has prickers on it. And I this up. looks to me like another Brazilian pepper piece of crap. This is another poisonous tree that people get very allergic reactions to. And we need to eradicate these big pieces of pile of poop too, right, Coop? And right next to the Brazilian pe uh, pepper plant, the poison wood likes to lurk. And we were cutting this Frisbee golf course through here, not knowing any of this information until now. And as you can see, we're just into the first part of this program, and we've already run into some deadly dangerous plants. That's why it's pirate world around here. If we go around this way, Coop, we can see the next property that's done a pretty good job of eradicating most of its poison wood. Although I have been here, there's still a bit left, but they have nothing compared to our property. So we're going to try to match these properties up and make a five acre frisbee golf course because we got permission from Reen, who is the owner of Magic Ranch. And this is another property and as you can see a lot of these bushes are beautiful bushes and plants and they're sea grapes. There's a tiny flower right here. Yeah, let's see the flower. Leave it, leave it so I can film it. Beautiful. See, this property's got some potential. In fact, it's got a lot of spirit to it. This whole area around here, there's star wells where the natives used to dig into rock and make a, like a well so the rainwater would catch. And the stars, the fingers from around the rock would bring it into the center of the well, and they called it star wells. They had little fingers that would run out through the rock to draw more water from other rock. When big rain falls, it could collect a lot of water. And that's how they lived on these islands. Now, this is a uh, like a reflection garden, a meditation garden with a nice sculpture. This is part of Reen's property. This is a very spiritual area in the Keys. 
and this is an in dedication to her mother the rose in her garden 